Well then, uh, my good friends of YouTube, I um, just wanted to show you this lovely flyback. Isn't that gorgeous? Never been used. Look at that pin. It's never been sold a lot. Anyway, I had an email sent to me by uh, a subscriber. And uh, he said to me, he says, uh, could you show all your flybacks? And I sent him one back saying, I've actually got a previous video of me showing quite a few flybacks. And he sent one back um, about an hour or so later saying, um, well, can you do an update of your flybacks? And he says, because that one's quite old and I bet you've got some more. So I sent him one back saying, well, I don't really want it, but I will do. So I've made a, I'm have making a video now and I'm not doing it to, uh, you know, to rub it in or anything like that. I mean, I've been collecting flybacks for some time now. And I do go to the scrapyard on a regular basis, picking them up. And, um, you know, so it's nothing to rub it in or anything. But, you know, as you know, I've always liked my flybacks. They're my favourite transformer. And I want to show you how, you know, I'm making this video then to show you how many uh, I do have. So, here it goes. Yes, there's a lot. There's a very lot. There's about 160 flybacks. These ones here are the ones that I found at the scrapyard which have been cut off at the tops, which can all be replaced, all the wires can be replaced on them. I mean, for saying I know me bits about my flybacks, um, I didn't actually, with them having a hole like this, I thought that they were you know, I thought I was going to struggle to do it, but um, my friend High Voltage Projects, a good friend of mine, subscriber, he said, oh no, you can just push the wire in there. And I thought, bloody hell. So I looked, I thought, bloody hell, you can. So, that was a... So that's the thing about when you've got friends on YouTube. Um, I mean, he's a good friend anyways, you, you know, so... But it's a good thing of this community thing with uh, YouTube, um, with subscribers and stuff. If there's something that we one of us doesn't know, then somebody else will know it. So that's the good thing about it. And my good friend, High Voltage Projects, well his name's John, he uh, said, oh no, you can just push the wire down there. So, good tip. So if you find one that's got a hole in it like so, and there's no catch on it like, you see like this one here, this one's got a catch, which has a piece like that to push in to hold the wire. You push the wire in once you've took the bit off the end, once you've took the shroud off the end, the insulation, and you just push it in and it locks it in. Um, same with that one, just needs a plastic cap. See, with this one, and this hasn't got a cap, this one is basically the wire was pushed in without the cap and it just holds it inside the insulation, you know, inside the, uh, the, the contact to the bottom of there. It's like a piece of rubber which is full of carbon, I would imagine. Carbonized rubber. So there you go. That's uh, a good thank you to my friend High Voltage Projects. So, yeah, so these ones here, around about this area here, are the ones which um, all still work. They've all been tested and they all work. And these are them two that I found at the scrapyard not long ago in my last visit. You've seen that on my last video running. And that's the other one. That's the. See, that one's got a damaged. Damaged coil as well. You see that there? Look, that's damaged those coils. Those coils are wire, so I'm going to have to uh, have to take that off as well. But I'm going to leave that on that one to keep it as an original. And I got this one as well. That is a beauty, though. That one is brand new. See, it does look like that one in a small way. <laughs> But that one's got the primary as well as the secondary. So yeah, shame about that primary. But anyway, so yeah, so then the rest of these are the ones that I've taken out of a lot of TVs. There is a lot of TVs that I've taken and, and monitors that I've, you know, stripped down to take the flybacks out. As well, I use the other pr uh, parts in them as well, like the resistors and diodes and transistors and uh, inductors, capacitors and other bits and bobs. These are some of my favourite ones, which I will not use for ZVS or um, 
or for uh, you know the five five timer. But, uh, these ones here are the two of the same. Fifty kV wire on them. Give out a good. I mean, I've tested them, you know, with um, his EVS, but only at uh, only at about twelve volts to give them a quick test. And these ones here, these are two of the same. These are found at the scrapyard, as they were inside of um, uh, some boards that I found. They weren't in the TV or monitor, whatever they came out of. They were just the boards lying around. This one here is what I bought off eBay. These ones, these are bought off eBay. That one's off eBay. That one's off eBay. That one's off eBay. This one here is um, what I found on its own in a box. So it seems to me to have thrown it away, which it does work. And you can see this one's got the connectors. So you can connect the wires to them. This is uh, out of a very small, tiny TV that I did a video of not long ago. It's a very small flyback. Give that a nice little punch, that one does as well. So that's in an old aftershave container. Makes a nice little stand, a uh, little uh, ornament which goes in my room for me to look at every day. Yes, I've got strange problems. I really do love flybacks. <laughs> we all have a fetish of something. But uh, yeah, there's, uh, there's quite a lot which are the same, which is a good thing because you can put them together and run them both together on a ZVS driver. That's the big beast. I have another big beast as well. Look at that one. Do you remember that one? I did that quite not long ago in one of the previous videos. I found that in a monitor. That was in a monitor that was. Can you hear that annoying dog? <clears throat> now there's some... There is some very, very large ones. I would like one with a tripler on it. You know, with a <clears throat> an output on it with uh, four or three outputs. You know, like these rear projection screens. I would like one of those with a three output. Then my collection would be complete. So if anyone's got one or knows of one, I will pay some good money for it. Just to put to my collection. These here, from there are all going to be used for my projects at the end of the day I've collected there's a few which I shall keep for um, myself for uh, to look at <laughs> and uh, you know just to keep as a private collection but uh, all the rest of these are going to be used for uh, some good projects but uh, I certainly do have a lot and I've even got a collection of this one which is battered but it still works still works that does so I'll keep it you never know it's like um, this one this one's been seriously battered I mean some comedian lots cut the top off I mean if I seen the blurred person who does that to a flyback I'll cut his head off <laughs> I'm only kidding I'd just say, why do you do that? Why do you cut the tops off? Why can't you just leave a couple of inches on it or something? I don't know why he does it. He's got to be a drunk. But you see, that that can be repaired. Just cut down with a Dremel down to the wire, solder a wire onto it, get some insulation on it, and, you know, stick a ferrite on it. And away you go. It's a tiny one. Tiny-ish. I have actually got some really small ones actually. See, there's this one, this one's quite small. Good primary on that one. Primary, secondary, all in one actually. Look at the coil on that one, should I say. Ferrite's quite small on it as well. I don't know what it is, but they are wicked. <laughs> <clears throat> so, these are quite big. These are out of 32 inch Sony televisions, Trinitrons, very big flybacks. I've got two of the same as well of these. <clears throat> Quite a big suction cup. Actually, um, if you can see quite a lot of them, there's not the suction cup on them because I did cut a hell of a lot of them off 
um, and gave them to uh, spark fishers. Um, James, a friend of mine, um, <coughs> and uh, because he makes little projects out of these things for children and stuff, and he made a Dalek out of one of them with the uh, the suction cups, and it looked pretty cool. You know, for the Dalek, the uh, the dog in the Daleks, um, Doctor Who, that's it. You know, the uh, the dog. I can't remember what it was called now, but um, he used the uh, the these suction cups for the ears of this. I think it was the ear, or it was the it's either the ear or this, the radar on top of its head, and it looked pretty cool. Now this is a good one as well. The uh, it's quite a large one. Look at the size of that capacitor inside of there. That's a pretty good beast, and that fires off. I've got another one as well, which has got the uh, quite a large um, capacitor inside of it. That's got a broken ferrite, you see, but that's not a problem. Just super glue it. I dropped that unfortunately, making uh, putting these all on the table. I just thought, bugger. But it can be super glued and it'll still work as good as it did do. <clears throat> I mean, when these ferrites are broken, um, they would probably change the frequency, but not enough for you to uh, to notice. You know, when you've super glued it, you'll still get a really good output. That's a pretty good one. That's a quite a big one. So I'm not going to bore you anymore guys, um, I think I've showed you most of them, I've got another one coming off uh, eBay, it's quite a large one, 25kV output it says, so that should be pretty good. So yeah, let me come back a bit and show you, get them all in the picture, that is a lot of flybacks, and I will still keep collecting, so any of you guys out there, Keep collecting your flybacks, picking them up, get yourself a good collection because it's not long before these are going to be wiped off and there's going to be no more TVs, CRT TVs out there. Thanks for watching guys, look after yourselves, take care.